Uh, one more question which is connected with Sunset Park. Renzo, a writer, is being interviewed by a young guy and at the beginning of the interview he's giving him a list of the writers he would like to talk about, he can talk about. Among them, like Styron, Sontag, Miller, Vonnegut, Pinter, I found also Richard Kapuściński. Yes. A great Polish writer and reporter and his presence on the list is just an instance or this is somehow your own list and Kapuściński was an important writer for you. Listen, I loved Kapuściński's work. I read every book he published, in English of course, uh, but he was one of the few writers whom I read every book of. Uh, whenever he published, I went out the next day and bought it. And I, I had the good luck to meet him a couple of times. We had a very wonderful dinner once, actually with Salman Rushdie and Kapuscinski and Siri and I, the four of us. Fantastically wonderful evening. I admired him tremendously. I think he was a, a great writer. And um, everything he wrote uh, interested me. Everything. So he's on the list of the recently dead. Okay, which part of his, uh, of his work or what? What was the most interesting part of his work to you? The, the, the story about Africa being uh, becoming independent, or this, this story about the, I don't know, human condition? Well, it's both. Um, uh, I mean, to say the book about Ethiopia, uh, the Haile Selassie book, is, well, it, it feels as if you're reading Kafka, and uh, uh, it's beautifully written. I don't know if everything in it is absolutely 100% true. But it doesn't even matter. You know, it's an amazing literary text. But I think what was so good about him is that earlier book called Another Day of Life about Angola. Um, there's a, there's a, uh, see, he's, he's as good as the best novelist. There's a passage when he's at a checkpoint and there are these 15 year old kids with machine guns and he really thinks he's going to be killed. I mean, there's no hope. But somehow or other, they let him through. And Kapuscinski is drenched in sweat. His, all his clothes are, are wet. And he reaches into his pocket to pull out a cigarette. And the cigarettes have all disintegrated because of the sweat. And somehow that image, to me, you know, conveyed fear in such a vivid way that very few writers are able to do. That, you see, not only is he telling you about contemporary uh, history, but he's telling it to you with the brilliance of a, of a great artist. And so that's why I love this work so much.